Hi, it's Matthew Matt here to talk to you about Curing the One. As teaching moved online and families were helping their kids, this meme started circulating. It says, all these kids have been learning Common Core math, about to learn how to carry the one from their new homeschool teachers. And a couple of people have asked me about it. So what's wrong with carrying the one? This is a really interesting question because when you start to look at it closely, you see that it ties into some of our deepest seated beliefs about what math is and what learning is. But before I get into all that, I'm going to give a short, or at least shorter, answer to this question, and then in the future I might delve into those topics. The single biggest reason not to teach carrying the one is because it makes kids worse at math. We know quite a bit about how kids think about math and how they learn it best. It turns out that for math and for other subjects, people do best when they understand what they're doing and can adapt based on the circumstances, in this case based on the particular numbers and how they like to think about them. For example, let's look at the problem 48 plus 48. Pause for a second and think about how you would solve this. Are you ready? You might have lined it up vertically and carried the 1, but I bet some of you thought of it as 50 plus 50 and then subtracted 4 to get 96. Or maybe you thought of the, that the two 40s make 80 and the two 8s make 16 and then you combine those to get 96. Some of you might have even shifted the 2 over or shifted 2 over to change the problem into 50 plus 46 because that was easier for you to solve. People who are comfortable with math use strategies that work for them and work with the numbers they have. These last three examples that I gave are all strategies that children naturally come up with when given the opportunity and the right kinds of classroom environments. So why are we fighting against that? When we teach children to carry the one instead of using their own thinking, we end up trying to change their amazing natural reasoning into a human calculator. And while calculators are really good at repeating the same steps over and over, humans aren't. It's just not one of our strengths. Reasoning, flexibility, and understanding are what make humans great thinkers. We should build on this and strengthen the classroom because it comes more naturally to children, it's easier to fix if they forget a step in the process, and it's useful in real life. We need citizens who can add and subtract, but who can also reason, adapt, and talk about their thinking. So that's my short answer for why we shouldn't teach kids to carry the one. And by the way, it's not a one, it's a 10 or something larger like a 100 or a 1,000, depending on what place we're in. I hope to hear from you with more math questions. See you next time.